Okay, in answer to a viewer's question, what about Meghan after the coronation of Charles? So, if you like the video, I hope you do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, I hope you will subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. I'm really testing the waters with this because again it's in response to your question and what about Megan after the coronation of Charles so we'll just ask the question you know this isn't my question this is a viewer inquiry and uh, it's not it's fine so just remember if you have a question you can ask them too and I'll likely answer them maybe not instantly because there's kind of a backlog but tell me what you want to know and we'll check this out right now and this thing with uh, Megan falls um, into different categories in different parts of the world. I think uh, generally, from what I can tell from my audience, Americans are go uh, Megan, and uh, a lot of Brits are she's a, an evil witch. Uh, and I don't think either of those things are exactly right. I think it's somewhere uh, in a gray area there. So let's uh, be uh, open-minded. Let's not wish that people uh, have, uh, you know, just the worst thing happen to them ever. And let's always wish that everybody has good things happen to them. Remember, we've got children involved here. We've got babies. And um, so let's see, what about Megan after the coronation? We'll see what the cards say. I'll just read what falls on the table. So the Light Sears Tarot by Chris Ann wonderful cards. They're very beachy. They're very now. Uh, the container they come in is really nice. It has some nice thoughts inside. And um, the cards themselves and the guidebook, all of this is good. The um, The guidebook, although it's not in color, it's readable and uh, it gives some good ideas as to how you might uh, interpret some of these cards. Of course, you know, the interpretation is very personal. So you have to decide if those inter interpretations entirely work for you. But they're based on the Rider Waite system. And you can see that the art goes right to the edge of the cards. They're very colorful. They're very, uh, they just speak to you right away. I mean, you just, even if you didn't know what uh, uh, the symbols of the cards mean, I think anybody could look at some of these cards and think, oh, okay, this is what it means to me. Like I always say, I love to uh, have someone if we're going to do a reading, kind of spread the cards out like this, and then they kind of get into the game. They start looking at the art, and their mind sort of kind of gets into the uh, into the mode of of let's get some truth out here. Let's get some some tarot reading done. So, Light Sears Tarot, really really nice cards. Okay, so this is going to be Megan after the coronation. Megan after the coronation. Now this is interesting because she comes at this from a completely different set of values and understanding than uh, her husband does. Um, and uh, so for a moment, I hope we can all put aside our uh, uh, personal feelings, our prejudices, or our um, likes or dislikes, and, uh, and just think about um, Megan after the coronation. This has to do with more than, uh, than her. So let's see what the cards can tell us uh, about Megan after the coronation. Be a very interesting dynamic, I uh, suppose. And like I said in a previous video, you know, this is likely something that's going to happen sometime after um, all the um, uh, respect for the queen has um, has been, uh, gosh, observed. Uh, so uh, Megan after the coronation. Megan after the coronation and uh, it's usually uh, you know a nice respectful amount of time so that the next monarch can uh, celebrate this uh, tradition that's happening now, obviously they're not celebrating why they are the monarch but uh, the tradition of the continuance of that uh, of that uh, amazing post so and uh, and not chosen by the way you know so Megan after the coronation Let's see what the cards can tell us about that. Let's start here. We're going to take six. One, two, three, 
four, five, and I'll say right here six. So Megan after the coronation, after the coronation, what will be the signifier card for this question about, this viewer's question about Megan after the coronation? Okay, so the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands um, speaks to us of someone. This is typically represented in the uh, rider, in a typical rider weight deck of someone up on a, a ledge with one wand, kind of defending themselves about uh, against a lot of other wands that are poking up actions. In this card, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In this card, we have this uh, very contemplative. This makes you think of a California girl. I mean, you have to admit. Uh, and one of these wands is actually up poking into her serene bubble here. So this action, this coronation, this situation with the monarchy seems to almost be an interruption of her serenity. It's interesting. The um, uh, challenge to that then for Megan after the coronation is this two of wands. And these are short, small term, short term plans in, in my book. That's how I always read this card. And so this person has as one uh, plan kind of wistfully in hand. The other, the other plan is just up against the wall and not really fully involved in the scene right now. And uh, in the picture here, we see, look at this, I've got a, a, a surf scene. We've got this little VW uh, bus with a surfboard leaned up against it. And, um, and then we have the world represented right here, which is what is so much a part of, of her uh, life right now, uh, so much because of whom she married. So the challenge to this, uh, to this plan, just kind of poking up into her serene bubble, is uh, the short-term plans that, uh, it, you know, she almost wistfully is, you know, almost doesn't want to um, take, it looks like to me. The base of this reading for Megan after the coronation with this page of pentacles. Now remember, pentacles are worth their value, and the page is the very least important of the court cards. This person, the person, just brings this message to the court for the court to decide what to do. And uh, this person, if you look at her face, she's kind of um, um, uh, demurring to the greater forces that are here. Still has very much that California vibe uh, in this uh, card here, but um, and a great big actually uh, uh, piece of value is what's covered up almost her entire torso or at least uh, from the waist up so so this is the base of this of this reading for Megan after the coronation the uh, past of this reading is uh, the fool okay new journeys and that's exactly what's right and even though she's undertaken so many uh, uh, new journeys in the last few years um, this one uh, looks like something that she's just not so much leaning into but surrendering to okay this person is just is just she's got in one hand a wand and in the other hand i don't know what this could be it almost looks like some sort of little chalice maybe to catch um the the rain as it falls down if you want to say, say that this is rain or even light um but yeah so this uh fool beginning this journey is just giving the self into it okay serenely meditatively just sort of falling into it the uh, sky of this reading, then, is the tower moment. Okay, so this represents just a complete stop of something, and, and it's gotten the attention of the woodland creatures. It's uh, this uh, bush that's about to be set on by this lightning bolt has a couple of uh, butterflies here, which are kind of rebirth. It has a very interesting pattern here, which almost looks like a butterfly, but uh, we know that probably it's the ashes of the flame uh, uh, caused by this lightning strike. And there's some uh, value here in these little nuts that are on the side for this. But this uh, this creature is is really taking their their attention is completely off of their value and 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 completely um, focused on the uh, the tower situation that's happening. So in the sky of this reading, it looks like this could be somewhat of a a serious uh, situation for her at this moment. Maybe a complete readjustment uh, from on the, so this is the full starting the journey and the tower is always the end of something and the beginning of something else so that kind of makes sense they, maybe this is the end of what she had started to the trip she had been on and the beginning of something else uh, the likely outcome of this whole thing here with the seven of cups clearly this is Harry and the seven of cups is really having lots of choices to, to what you're going to do here you don't really know what's underneath these cups now if you look at this card closer we see there's a couple of tiny little ladders uh, in the sand here. We've got a snake kind of slithering out over here. His tail is even kind of extended beyond this little cup right here. We've got this kind of ominous looking 
uh, almost bat-like wing settled in over here, which is some sort of a rebirth. And uh, and the uh, the sands and the tide have just kind of washed a little um, uh, river through this cup. And cups are, are emotions. And so, yeah, this fellow is trying to decide, what will I do? Which ladder will I choose? And I don't know if you can see it, but just in the faintest little white outline, there's a little butterfly traced uh, onto the sand right here. And it almost looks like he's reaching this way. So, yeah, this is a, a time of decisions for, for Harry, certainly, okay, that he was always going to have to face. So Megan, after the coronation, and why they, wouldn't that be one of her biggest um, things to consider, her husband's uh, choices that he uh, will need to uh, address. Uh, the self of that question, Megan, after the coronation, is this Ten of Cups, and I love to see in this thank goodness, because the Ten of Cups is really happy family. Lots of cups, lots of emotions. We have this couple here with their beautiful children playing on the beach, of course, California, and uh, and they're just wrapped up in this rainbow. And so the self of this question, Megan, after the coronation, is maybe the security of her family and the emotional um, uh, drape that may, hopefully that provides to, to all of them uh, during that time, because that's going to be a very, a very emotionally draining uh, time. The um, environment that that is in, that Ten of Cups, is this Two of Pentacles. And yeah, it's exactly right. So this Two of Pentacles, this woman is trying to balance her worth. She has a very real uh, uh, earth, earth-like uh, uh, purse of her earthly values in this hand, and then she has some very esoteric uh, uh, values that she's balancing in this hand. And so this woman is really studying uh, keeping these things uh, going. Okay, so that's the environment that that's in. really love that, as a matter of fact. The uh, hopes of the fears for all of this, then, Megan, after the coronation, is the completion of a journey. This is 21. This is the world. This is the end of the fool's journey. And so this person has worn this, uh, this uh, rainbow of emotion in her dress here. And she's looking forward with hope to the sky. And uh, this is really beautiful. So this is the world card. This is the hope and the fears that she will be able to just, uh, in, in, you know, really take on everything that's come from all of this. And then the likely outcome of this for Megan after the coronation. Look, it looks like their life will continue uh, in, in California. This Three of Wands is long-term planning. We got two of these plans firmly embedded in the sand with the fire going very strong. One here that's in the sand that's just a little bit in the past, kind of burnt out, but she has some motion in her hand, getting ready to uh, to walk out into this uh, very emotional uh, uh, sunset. So I like that very much. So let's recap it again here. So Megan after the coronation, look, her plans have been invaded. One of the, these plans is, is it really hers and it's poked up into her serenity, okay? Um, the uh, challenge to that with this two of wands, short-term plans, she's kind of wistfully looking out the window, uh, kind of wondering how she's going to address them with this uh, very beachy scene here, this realm uh, in the forefront and this other plan just kind of propped up against the wall, kind of set aside uh, for the moment. The basis of this reading with this uh, page of pentacles, the very least important of the court cards, but still with a big message of value to carry. And uh, and so demurely kind of looking in. This uh, fool uh, in the past is just l relinquishing herself to this journey. Okay. The sky of this reading with this tower moment is just almost seems like an abrupt interruption of uh, or an end to whatever it was that was before. The uh, likely outcome of the whole thing, for me, this is clearly Harry, with, ch with choices that have to be made with the Seven of Cups. Okay? Thoughtful choices. Okay. The self of this, of this question is, uh, shows us the couple with the children kind of wrapped up in a rainbow of emotion and passion. The uh, uh, environment that that's in is this woman balancing her, her earthly values against these more esoteric uh, values that uh, she's playing with here. The um, hopes and the fears for this is that this new journey that's begun uh, will, uh, uh, you know, c cover her with the the rainbow of compassion that she's got here, and she'll see uh, the light of how to continue. And then the final outcome of the whole thing is clearly on the beach uh, with these uh, plans in full flame. Uh, she's getting ready to walk out into that beautiful uh, sunset. And, uh, and this uh, other plan just beginning to uh, relinquish itself here. The past and the future. That's what that looks like to me. 
So that's my take. Remember, every reader has a different relationship with their cards and what they mean to them and how they work with the cards. So, um, you know, it's just like so many things. Several people can throw the same cards down and come up with something, some different interpretation. That's how this works too. So tell me what you think or, or trust your intuitions as long as they're good and healthy and in a positive light. That's what I would say. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.